Hello everyone, I'm Addison Brianna. In this video, I am helping you improve that arch in your back. This is a 12 minute follow along stretching tutorial. You will need two yoga blocks. Let's get started with some arm circles, 10 forward and 10 back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one switch directions 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 shake it out one more time go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 switch directions 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three, two, and one. Shake it out. Hopefully that got you warm. Stay seated upright. Drop your head to the right and left. 10, nine, eight. We can slow it down a bit. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back, pull your chest open, stretching out your chest and the front of your shoulders. So with working on improving our back arch, we're primarily focusing on the arch of the upper thoracic spine. In most cases, our lower backs are actually pretty naturally flexible. And sometimes it may seem like it's not that flexible, but trust me, if you improve, the flexibility of your upper back, your entire spine will look a lot more flexible and it's a lot safer to train your upper back as opposed to your lower back, which is not as stable of an area in your body to stretch. Okay, so good rule of thumb when you're working on back flexibility, focus on your upper back, not your lower back, okay? We don't need to improve the flexibility of our lower back. Okay, go ahead and release your hands, shake it out. You're gonna grab your yoga blocks. All right, set the blocks up so there's enough space between them for your head to fit through. You're gonna come to your elbows on the blocks, your palms are together and your knees are a little wider than hip distance apart. Press your hips back so they're over your knees and drop your forehead towards the floor. From here, you should feel that stretch in the underside of your arms along your triceps, and you may feel a stretch in your upper back as well, maybe even your chest and your shoulders. It just really depends where you're tight. So here, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, work on pressing your forehead into the mat, relaxing your arms, relaxing your shoulders as much as you can. We're just going to stay here and breathe. Feel free to breathe on your own or follow me. Let all your air go. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Good job, go ahead and release. Pull your elbows in if they slid out a little bit, kind of readjust for a moment and then sink right back into that position. Continue with your deep breathing, deep breath in. And out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. With every breath, allowing your body to relax and give in to the stretch a little more. 
As you feel yourself become more flexible, press more and more into the mat. You can even focus on pressing your chest towards the floor, putting more pressure forward towards your elbows and towards your forehead. Release up to your elbows again. This time as you lower down, shift your gaze forward. So instead of bringing your forehead to the mat, bring your chin to the mat. Continue to look forward if you like. You can even float your chin and focus on pressing your chest towards the floor. Deep breath in. Out. Deep breath in. Out. Deep breath in. Out. Extend your arms forward, keeping them on the blocks. Wiggle at your fingers. Bring some movement into your fingers here. Continuing to look forward, look up at your hands, pressing your chest towards the floor. You've got this. And go ahead and release all the way out. Hands to the blocks. Go ahead and roll at your shoulders. Give me six, five, just little circles at the shoulders, four, Three, two, and one. Switch direction. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back on your heels. Shake out your hands. Shake out your shoulders. Take any little movements here you'd like to before we get right back into the stretch. We're over halfway through this practice. All right, remove one block off to the side. From here, you're going to bring your right elbow to the block. Your right hand is reaching back towards your right shoulder. Your left arm extends forward and your forehead comes down to the mat. Hold and breathe here. We're just focusing on that right side. This will allow you to focus just on one side, say your right shoulder your right tricep is a lot tighter than your left and you can really really focus in on here and even spend some more time on this side if you'd like a lot of times our more dominant side say if you're right-handed your right side will be tighter Gently release that side. Go ahead and switch it over to the other side. Left elbow on the block, left hand to your left shoulder. Extend your right arm forward, forehead to the mat. Hold and breathe. Deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Go ahead and pull yourself up and out of the side. Grab both blocks again. From here, come to your elbows, palms together as we were in the beginning of this video. As you press into that position, you're going to bend and extend at your elbows 10 times. So extend for 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend both hands forward. Go ahead and come up and out from here. Keep both hands on the blocks. Slide the blocks forward so that your hips stay relatively over your knees. Press your chest into the mat. Hold and breathe. This should be intense. Pressing through your palms. Pressing through the tops of your feet. Deep breath in. And out. Really press into a deeper back bend. In and out. One more in and out. Gently release to child's pose. And go ahead and sit yourself up, bring your knees together. We're gonna close off this practice with one hand to our heart, one hand to our belly. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. Breathe in. Big exhale. One more. Big exhale. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like more tips from me on how to improve that arch in your back, leave a comment below, like this video, and subscribe for more. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.